Hi, so it's been a few days since Pro Tools 2018.7 dropped. I got my copy installed and it's been working. No issues whatsoever. I made a video about this, but what I didn't do is show you some of the new features that were introduced with this new version of Pro Tools. So let's take a look at some of the new features that they added that are pretty useful. So I wanna add a little bit of compression to that 808. Now I'm sure some of you guys probably have a lot more plugins than I do. Now within the Pro Tools preferences, what I ended up doing Preferences, you want to take a look at this section here. Organize plugin and menu by category and manufacturer. And that's the way I have it. Pro Tools is just going to show you this section here, EQ, Dynamics, and you know what? That can be a little mess. But now with this new function, you can actually just click, search. I'm looking for the DBX. So let's type in, see how easy that is? Another thing that they added is to select multiple buses. And here's what I mean. If you hold down start on your keyboard, select your buses, now, you can select multiple buses. And we do the same thing, hold down start. So now I'm sending to one and two, and I can select multiple. Now you weren't able to do that before, and that's really handy. Another thing that they added, if we go right here, so it's very simple, hold down alt, it's gonna select everything. I don't need the mic pre, I don't need instruments, real-time property, really don't need, I'm not working with MIDI at the moment, and I don't need comments. What I do need is all my inserts and my sends. So let me ask you guys a question. Are you guys happy with 0.7? Did have it come through? Were these new features enough? But with all of that said, I really wanna know what you guys think. So if you need to get a hold of me, check the description, my contact information will be there. If you have a question, post at the bottom.